So we're going to be talking about some new kind of minor drama, and this is all centered around this new UID feature that's planned for implementation in 4.4. Now, a quick note, this has been around since 4.0. It's just been like slightly disconnected for some resource types. So previously, UIDs were only available for things like scenes and resources, but now they're going to be available for scripts and shaders, which means we can now load all of those files based on a UID path instead of a static path. So I'm going to quickly explain like what a UID is, and then we're going to go over the rest of this stuff and kind of discuss that. But really quickly, if I pop over into Godot, you can see that I have a constant for loading in different files in my game. And this is typically what you're going to want to do in Godot, because whenever you need to use a resource or a scene, you need to load it first with the file path. Now, since 4.4 and something I've just started switching over in my main project here is UIDs for things like our resources and our scenes. And this means that if I right click on, let's say my spry feather item here, I can copy the UID and then you can see I've pasted it in right here. And this is beneficial because it's not storing the direct path to the file anymore. It now allows me to change where the file is and also rename it. And since this is a unique identifier that's gonna be persistent throughout the entire file's lifetime, I don't have to worry about my script breaking or like going back to update the path or anything. So just a really helpful feature. And what this uh, blog post talks about and what's being implemented in 4.4 is the addition of this UID system for script files. Now it is a bit different than the previous uh, method because we're now using a designated file for the system. So you can see that I have my player script, just player.gd, and Godot, when I save the script, is going to generate player.gd.uid. Now, if I open up this UID file, it's literally just gonna be a single line with the UID text, but you can see how this is helpful now because anything that loads in a script or a shader or something via the path will now only have to use the UID. And since generally people are gonna restructure their files, their folders in game development, because that's something that you run into a lot, especially as a new like user, this is going to be really helpful to prevent a lot of corruption of files and things like that. So like with everything, there's always gonna be a ton of people against the idea. And that's kind of the case right now is there's a ton of people that are really against this implementation and saying that it should be done a different way and whatever and saying that they don't mind updating all the, the paths in their files if things get corrupt. And I don't think that's a really good way to look at this because this is definitely beneficial for anybody like just getting into Godot. This makes a lot more sense, just copying the UID of a file instead of like updating the path. And especially, yeah, because files do get corrupt, like there's been a ton of times where you move a file even through the Godot file system and it's gonna corrupt the references. So I think this is a really good improvement. Now on the blog post, they do talk about some common questions and concerns and whatever. And the biggest things that I wanted to talk about first is, will this make version control messier or break more often? Because that's something that I see a lot of people worried about is like with version control, you're all of a sudden gonna have a ton of new files. So it's probably gonna be a mess, but I don't think that's the case because like, we have had import files for like how long and I don't ever really have an issue with them. Now import files, just like UID files have to be moved and renamed with their associated like main file. So because it's such a similar system, I don't really see it being like a huge new way of working with Godot unless you have like a super unconventional uh, workflow with, with your version control. I don't see it being an issue at all. Now there were some people reporting that when collaborating, you had to basically have someone like create or generate all the UIDs for the files before you pushed it. And I think that is generally something you're gonna wanna do when you make the switch to 4.4 is resave all of the files that are gonna have UIDs because this way if someone else um, has like a contradicting UID and then you guys try to merge together, you won't have any issues with that. So just be aware of that. And then people are also wondering why not like store the UID information inside of an import or like a meta file. And the first one is import files are only for things like textures and audio files and stuff like that where Godot actually has to import the resources. So for things like scripts, you don't exactly have to load a script because everything is just 
inferred directly from the file itself, which means it doesn't really need to have like import properties. So then the other thing that people were thinking is like, yeah, use a meta file. And using meta files, kind of bundling everything together is slightly the same issue. And I think the main reason that they're going away from it right now is just to make it easier to migrate to UID files. I do think it's a possibility that in the future, we're gonna have like one file to kind of bundle everything together but that's not the case. That's not what they're planning on doing right now. And then there was also an attempt to actually embed like the UID string into the file itself. So think of for like a, a script file, you literally just have like a comment that would be like, oh, this is like the UID, right? And people did play around with that. And in general, I don't think that was really the best idea because you're gonna have like a super cluttered file. Like everything's gonna have a, a random string of text in it. And especially if a new user like opens up their script, they're going to be like, what the heck is this? Delete it. And then everything gets messed up. So I think this is the best direction to go with this. Now, lastly, the key takeaways that you want to know uh, from the system is that you obviously don't want UID files to be in your git ignore. So if you're using version control, which I highly recommend, you obviously want to push all the UID files to your GitHub. Next up is if you rename a file. So let's say I had my player.gd and I had my player.gd.uid. If I wanted to rename this, I'd want to rename both my files. So obviously keep the extensions, but the player section would get renamed. And then they also need to stay in the same directory. So if I was to move this, I'd want to move both the regular and the UID file together. And this is going to be automatically um, done for you if you use the built-in file system, but also having this method kind of allows you to use a different file system if you want because previously if you move things like outside of Godot it has a much higher chance of actually corrupting things so that's kind of nice um, especially for new users once again and then apart from that that's really it so if you do want to learn more about this system I would recommend checking out this blog there's a few really minor things that I didn't mention but it will be kind of a big change that I thought you guys might want to be aware of um, if you didn't see this so just something to look forward to or not look forward to let me know your thoughts on this in the comments um, i would love to see because i did a poll and most people seem to kind of be like for this but there were a couple people that were against it and i know that reddit is kind of uh really controversial when it comes to topics like this so let me know your thoughts uh, if i missed anything be sure to leave it in the comments and if you want to get connected with the channel or the community all the links are in the description, obviously. And one more thing, huge thank you to all the members this week. We have five new members just this week, which is insane. So I want to say thank you to you guys. Special thanks for the groundbreaking Godoers. So shout out to Puma Mori and also Abdul Ahab Ayub, which I'm I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but apologies if I'm not. Shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. If you do want to become a member and help support the channel, there's the link to all that in the description as well. But I just wanted to give you guys this quick video to keep you updated on Godot news. If you do want to see more Godot updates and stuff like that, then make sure to subscribe so that you can stay updated with the community. But thank you for watching the video, and I hope you have a great week or weekend or whatever it is, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.